hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel this is the hs family how are you all doing today i hope you guys are doing good so as you all know we are transitioning into a new season and each time when we are going into a new season it's affecting the kids somehow it's either a flu a virus or allergy and currently there's a lot of allergy going on which i've realized especially with my kids and you know with the kids going to school and coming back home you know they always come back with something you know but currently my kids have been having cough which is normal it's okay cough is nothing that is harmful if you are a pretty healthy person everybody can have a cough you know but sometimes you don't want to like medicate them too much you want to try to get um, a little bit of a home remedy or so so in today's video i'm going to be sharing you um this remedy that i have for cough you know it's an old traditional style that my grandmother taught me but lately it's been really really effective to my kids and i want to share this idea with you guys and i hope that this is going to help you all out there you know if you try this and you think it's helpful to you and you like it please don't forget to leave us a comment and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you guys thank you guys so much and i hope that this is going to be very helpful to you guys oh hi there if this is your first time stumbling into the arches family please don't forget to leave us a comment and please don't forget to subscribe and please know that we love you guys so much and have a nice summer holiday out there bye please guys don't forget to follow our videos we have a lot for you guys especially this summer where the kids are going to be home you know there's a lot of activities that you can use to occupy your kids with if you want to know a lot of those activities some of them please don't forget to follow our youtube channel for to get more of those bye our first ingredient is ginger. Ginger has a lot of health benefits, but today we are going to be focusing on cough. Ginger can relieve a cough or sore throat by reducing inflammation. Research shows that ginger can do this by blocking inflammatory proteins in the body. These proteins can cause pain, itching, and burning in the throat due to inflammation. A lot of people have been asking if ginger can cure dry cough, and the answer is yes. Ginger is extensively used to provide instant relief from a dry cough with anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties it is a powerful herb to to, um, to treat dry cough a lot of people have used ginger especially back in the days a lot of people have used ginger as a herbal remedy for centuries to treat many con con um, conditions from arthritis to abdominal pain people often still use ginger today when they have um cough or cold so, scientists researches shows that ginger has medical properties that could help ease the symptoms of um of a cold or a sore throat. Ginger is one of the best known remedies to cleanse the body from mucus. Ginger has specific enzymes benefits which helps remove toxins. It is also anti-inflammatory in nature. We go to our next ingredient, which is lemon. Lemon is very good at breaking down this mucus, loosening it up so that we can expel it more easily. Once the mucus starts to clear up, you may find that your sore throat and cough improves too. Lemon is also a natural anesthetic, meaning it can help to numb the pain in your throat as well. Drinking hot um, water with lemon and honey is a well-known remedy for a cough. <clears throat> lemons are lemons are excellent source of vitamin c and are also essential in getting rid of mucus forming bacteria we go to our next ingredient which is honey honey has been known to be one of the most strongest natural expectorant for cough honey has been shown to reduce the symptoms of even chronic and severe cough in fact in the study <clears throat> honey appears to be as effective as a common cough suppressing ingredients um however due to the risks of infant botulism a rare but serious from a food poisoning never give honey to a child younger than one i mean remember that cough is natural um even for adults so cough would never kill someone if you're healthy so please avoid giving honey to kids younger than one. Botulism is food poisoning caused by bacteria, especially in preserved food like honey. 
as you can see in this video i have two different kinds of honeys which i'm going to tell you guys as you can see i have the lighter honey in the little bottle and i have the darker honey so I will tell you guys the difference you know all these honeys are good but um if you have the darker one i'll encourage you to use the darker honey and i'll always encourage you to use the darker honey the lighter one it's also good don't get it twisted but i'll prefer the darker honey so dark honeys are the best because their antibacterial qualities are generally higher than lighter honeys and they help to discourage secondary bacteria infection in um in a weakened throat area and chest area you know so i'll prefer the black honey and the first thing you want to do is go ahead and wash your ginger and then peel off the skin and chop the ginger and put it into the blender and blend it into a paste some people will want to do this with the skin on the ginger but i'll prefer that you take off the skin somebody ought to come along and let you down so you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground How can you say that nothing's different, that we should pick up the pieces Somebody ought to Next, you want to go ahead and wash your lemon and chop it Break it in, in the middle and then go ahead and squeeze off the lemon juice from the lemon Like squeeze everything out and mix it into the bowl of ginger paste. I won't do this all again. Even if I try, I can't forget it. If you still wanted to be loved, you should have never let me go. Somebody said it should be easy to next. You want to go ahead and get your honey. So, like I said. Um, I'm going to be using the black honey. So as you can see, I've used the honey to a point where it's almost finished and it's so thick in a, in a way that it's not going to be coming out. So actually, I'm going to break this container and cut it out so that I can take away everything from the container. Now you want to put a pan on the stove and then go ahead and put your, your mixture. That's your ginger, your honey and your lemon and then go ahead and mix it is going to become like this liquid you don't want to cook it for long you do just want to leave it there you don't want to keep it for a very long time you don't want it to cook too much and right here you have your cough syrup you know so actually since i'm going to be giving it to my kids i'll be taking um i'll be separating the chaffs from the actual lemon syrup but let me tell you something this chaff right here is very effective it works a lot so i'm not going to trash this i am going to keep it and you know use it on myself and i'm also going to mix it a little bit and give it to the kids because this right here is the medication itself it's powerful more than the liquid that you have so guys that's the syrup this is our syrup this is how it looks like you know so you want to let it cool down for a little bit and then transport it into um a glass a container that you can easily assess it with a spoon you can preserve this in the fridge you know and you can use it for like two weeks or so depending on on how often you administer it so this right here trust me guys is very very effective and my kids could tolerate it even though it's hot you know at this point in time my kids were coughing so this was so helpful trust me guys this is so powerful this is so helpful i encourage you all to try this um it's good and you're going to like it and please let me know what you think hey guys if this is your first time stumbling into this youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share our video and also comment on our video thank you guys so much currently the h's family is sitting on a 7.41 kvm subscribers i just want to say i love you guys so much and thank you we really do appreciate your love and your support bye Hope somebody will break your heart and leave you crying on the floor you let me down i won't do this all again even if i try i can't forget it if you still wanted to be loved you should have never let me go 
Somebody said it should be easy to forgive We all make mistakes and no one lives without sin But why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet Now you're standing at my 